cannabis. This is the ABQ Business Podcast with your host, Jason Rigby. Each week, we'll interview visionary business leaders to inspire the creative power and spirit that's in every entrepreneur. Discussing strengths, weaknesses, strategies, systems, and the problems we can all solve together for a new future for local small business. What is up, guys? Excited about today, read an article by Matthew Royce on Medium, and the article's called, if you want to look this up, if you have medium.com or you have the app on your phone, it's called Five Insanely Productive Habits of Highly Successful People. These simple yet effective behaviors are ingrained into their daily habits. I want to go over these five with you. I think these are some things that you can implement right now that will help you tremendously, that can change the way that not only are you thinking, but can change the way that you work. And you say, well, why is that so important? Well, because most of you are saying that you're stressed out. I get so many DMs from people from this podcast that are like, I'm at my wit's end. I don't know what to do. My company's failing. You know, there's just so much negativity. I'm working 12, 15 hour a day, seven days a week, and I'm not making any progress. Well, how are these people? A lot of people, you'll talk to them. They're like, I'm not the smartest person in the world, but they're ultra productive. Some of you have mentors that you know this, and they're just these high performance machines. And you're like, how is this happening? What are they working 20 hours a day and, and doing four hours of sleep? No. And, and you're going to see this in this list. And I, I think it's so important whenever you understand, and I've talked about this a gazillion times, so I'm not going to get into it heavily. So don't tune me out when I say this, but whenever you wake up in the morning and you're proactive instead of reactive, whenever you're you using your time to accomplish more of what really matters to you personally, That's you on purpose being selfish. What matters to you? Because you have to be sustainable. If I'm going to own a business and I want to own it for 25, 30 years, then I need to be healthy. I'm not going to, you know how many businesses have killed people and they die in their fifties? I know people that have had heart attacks or dropped dead or whatever because they just worked themselves to death and they let the business become their God. And it's crazy to me. But insanely productive people have habits that produce excellent results. They are successful because every day they are effective. They work smarter, not harder. That sounds easy and that sounds silly. And you're like, Jason, you have to work harder. No, you don't. You don't have to work harder. I've learned this and we all did. What happened last year when the world shut down in 2020? Guys, what happened? Some of you even told me, I was way more productive. I learned so much. I feel bad because I just did amazing in 2020. You know, and, and I know my business was struggling and stuff like that, but personally, I was able to be at home and, and I took more time with the kids and I was actually able to walk the dog and I, I just felt amazing. And now what are you doing? It's July 2021 and you're back to the old grind. We forgot to put ourselves first, to relax, to enjoy life. That's what it's about, isn't it? And I understand, I love working too, but I, I, I work in blocks and that's what we're going to start off with. They take many breaks is number one in this article. They take many breaks. Successful people know that they need to take intentional breaks to perform at their best. Breaks are not bad for you guys, but you need to do this in a way where you can do high intensity work then take a break. This is how I do it. I wake up in the morning. I make my French press coffee. I love it. I'm into coffee. I'm like a coffee snob. I'll get an Ethiopian coffee or something like that. These new coffees have delivered so I can try them out all the time. Um, I'm on like a monthly subscription coffee thing. And guess what happens? I get this coffee that I love. I go take my phone. I look on it, see if there's any emergencies or anything, which an emergency has to be a 10. I'm not going to answer it. That's not a five. That's not an emergency. Maybe a high priority, but I can deal with that later. I'm going to get my cup of coffee. I'm not going to cut on my computer. Not yet, because I don't want to hit emails and then go down the email rabbit hole. We all do that. Next thing you know, it's two hours later and you've answered all these emails. Or even worse now is Slack. If you guys haven't understood Slack yet, it's an amazing tool. People can talk and coordinate and teams can get together and you can say, Here, here's a product and here's a marketing and you can have all these different Um, teams and have people talking in there and engaging, but you can't get into Slack. You can't get into, you can't open Outlook. You can't do any of those things. Leave that computer off, drink your coffee, relax, leave your phone somewhere else so that it can't ding, put it on silent. You can't answer the phone call and guess what you do? 
guess what you do? You sit down and you make a simple to-do list. Now, for me to do it, I like the little notepads, and I just get them on Amazon. Um, I, I like the yellow ones or the white ones. It doesn't really matter. And then I like nice pins. So I have nice pins that I use. And, and I enjoy writing on a notepad, and I just write one through 10 or one through five, whatever it may be. Maybe I only have three projects I want to work on that day. I don't do more than 10 because I can go for the next day. And, and I write down things that mean the most to me, that are crucial, not just for me physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, for the people that I love, for me being a leader. Who do I need to coach that day? Who do I feel like I need to talk to? Who seems, you know, um, who seems as an employee that may be down and out? Or maybe there, were, there, were, there was something, uh, you know, two weeks ago and now it's kind of bugging you. Well, these are things that you can handle. And you know what happens? It's going to keep you focused to be proactive that whole day. Now you're taking charge of the day. You're not putting out fires and being reactive. Now, after I do that, guess what? I take a break. I may go for a walk for an hour. I may go outside for 10 or 15 minutes. It's so important in the morning. Evolutionary psychology talks about this. It's so important in the morning for you to get sunlight on your eyes. I'm not saying like stare at the sun or anything like that. I'm just talking about it's so important to get outside first thing in the morning. So write your list out. Go go take a five, 10 minute walk. Take your dog out. um, Let him use the bathroom. Relax. Take some deep breaths in and then come back. Now you can check your phone. Now you can do your email because you have your list. You have everything written out. And now you can hold yourself accountable to do those projects for that day. Number two, they have a clear picture of what's really important. Productive people know what they want. That here, here, once again, we're being proactive. They wake up each day with the plan about what they want to accomplish that day. You have to tackle each day with a plan. If you have an important project deadline and you want to get it finished, you're going to have to have uninterrupted time to spend on that. And taking that uninterrupted, uninterrupted, uninterrupted time, guess what's going to happen? You're going to be able to be creative because your mind, after it gets past the dings on the phone and the emails and everything else, and you can just sit and focus on one thing. And trust me, you maybe only do that for 10 minutes. Maybe you're so addicted to your phone and social media and everything that, that, that having your phone in another room just freaks you out. Well, try it for 10 minutes. You don't have to do it for 45. And just focus for 10 minutes. Just be focused on one thing for 10 minutes. And then go take a break. Take a break and go to yoga. I've told you guys this. Some of you as business owners don't need to be coming into work till 11 a.m. Yeah, no, 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 I can never do that. Well, maybe you like your mornings to yourself and you want to go work out. Then you come in super refreshed, feeling amazing, having an amazing breakfast, drink coffee. You've got your list together. You're in a great mood. What is that going to look like to the employees and those that you serve around you? I pray to you coming there at 730 in the morning, all stressed out, super tired, and just angry and irritated. Huge difference, guys. I'd rather you come in at 11. I guarantee your employees would too. And you being in a great mood and, and, and your brain firing off on all eight cylinders than you sitting there com- coming in and sitting at your computer desk at 730 eating a nasty burrito and drinking coffee and a whole bunch of nicotine to try to get you fired up and going. Which leads me to number three, they get enough sleep and exercise. It is so important for sleep, guys. We are recognizing now in sciences, and there's so many books that are coming out right now that sleep is number one. When you're exhausted, you have no mental capacity. They said that some people are so exhausted that they're acting at work like if you were trying to drive and you're buzzed or whatever. Some people, they're so exhausted that they're a danger driving on the road. Productive people have set schedules for bedtime and wake-up time. They know how important good night's sleep is. Try different things. For me, having it cooler at night is super important. There's something about my body, I have to have it dark, with no light, no nothing, not my phone, none of that, and I have to have it really cold. And I sleep better. And there's sleep tracking and all that stuff. You can tell. You can do it with your phone. You can buy the Aura Ring or whatever they call it, Fitbits. Um, whoops, all that stuff to track your sleep. You'll be able to know you can try different things like magnesium works really good for me. If I take that at night, sleep is so important. And then exercise. And I'm not saying, you know, you don't have to be an exercise freak. 
and and sit there and and go to the gym seven days a week. I'm talking go for a walk with your dog. I'm talking go to a Pilates or yoga class. I'm talking hiring a personal trainer, invest in yourself and hiring a personal trainer and go to the gym twice or three times a week. Go sign up for a martial arts class. Take some time to invest in yourself physically. It will help you mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. I guarantee you that. And if you can't commit, then put some money behind it. Like I said, hire a personal trainer. You can, you can spend money on yourself. It just doesn't have to be about everybody else. Successful people believe in their high-quality work and know it is valued. So number four, they make things happen without asking for permission. You don't need to get approval to get the job done. You don't, some of you have to, some of you look to your employees, one of your, one of your employees is basically running your business and you're just going to them, asking them for advice all the time. You know what? You could be at home and let them run the business, give them a raise. And then you just hang out at home if they're doing such a good job. Why do you need to be there bugging them? I guarantee if they were honest with you, you know how many people I've talked to in business and they're like, well, the owner's here all the time. So it's just, you know, and then they're just kind of, it's, it's annoying. Develop excellent relationships. And if you're going to be at work, focus on coaching and leadership. On those helicopter views high up. And I've said this before. If you're at a parade, you can be stuck down and watch the floats that are coming one at a time if you're stuck on the street corner. Or you can go up in the helicopter and you can look at all the floats. The past, present, and future. Everything. Focus on working on the business, not in the business. That's why you hire people. And if you, if you need help with that, get an assistant. Get an assistant. If you can't afford an assistant, online there's virtual assistants that are very inexpensive. That you can, and you can have them say, hey, um, you know, and then it may take a couple weeks for them to learn your habits and stuff like that. But I guarantee you, they will help you tremendously in being able to filter things out. Productive people believe in the old saying, it's easier to ask for forgiveness and permission. Successful people believe in their high quality work and know it is value. They don't feel the need to wait to make things happen and can move projects forward quickly. This is so key. If you have a tendency to procrastinate on things, it's because you're not confident in the work that you've done. If you are ultra calm, you got to ask yourself this. Am I 110% solid on the work that I've done? Oh, I'm not? Okay, well, what do I need to work on? Review it. Go through the project again. Maybe there's a person. Is there a weakness in a team member that I need to talk to? Okay, then what do you need to do? Have a conversation with the team member about the project. Ask their advice. Say, hey, you know, on this project, I have this concern with this. What do you think about it? And let them answer it. Get the team together. Stop sending these huge, long slack. It's just doing little quick communications and updating on executing, and it works great that way. But it's not made for you to communicate super long emails aren't either i guarantee you if you would do video and audio calls it's quicker because you can just talk right in that moment for 10 15 20 minutes than it is for you to spend an hour trying to type everything out perfectly number five the last one they say no without burning bridges i know it's tough for you to people to say no for all of us it is we don't want to let someone down but there comes a point, the more successful you are, the more you have to say no. I guarantee you, Kevin Hart, and he talks about this openly and with his businesses and stuff because he's that guy just has so much going on. I guarantee you, he says no 80% of the time and 20% yes. It's probably even like 99.9% .9 of the time. That guy is everywhere doing everything and constantly everywhere he goes, he talks about this. People are pitching him things, movies for him to do, TV shows for him to do. Um, and he has to look at him himself and say, what is best for me? What is best for the energy? And he has filters in place. I guarantee you that. Like he's into a lot of businesses. It's like, how do I know to be a part of this business? How is it going to be productive? We all know Rob Deerdick. And if you guys haven't, um, the skateboarder dude is really cool. The MTV uh, Fantasy Factory. I love that show. He's got a great personality. Well, he's into businesses and stuff like that now, like where he has a bunch of businesses and he's doing all kinds of stuff. And it, a lot of it's not even related to skateboarding or MTV or any of that. Um, and you guys should listen to some of his podcasts because he talks about this, how he says no. Don't feel like you need to say yes because you're afraid I'm missing out on something. It's that scarcity and abundance mentality. And let me explain that. Some of you have this 
scarcity mentality where you feel like, oh, I need to get as many slices of the pizza that I can before the pizza's gone. How about you be so creative that you can create more pizzas? That we can recognize that the pizza can get bigger. Now we can get more slices from it. You have to say no. And you have to say it honestly. And be logical. Don't be emotional about it. Saying no, is it's just logical. It's you protecting your time and putting yourself first. Try that. It's going to be amazing. Well, guys, this article was amazing. And these are five insanely productive habits of highly successful people. I know... Um, a lot of you may look at this and say, I don't know if I can do this or not, but I encourage you start with taking breaks, give a clear picture every day of what's important. Please get enough sleep, number one, and then two, exercise. Make sure you make things happening without asking for permission. You're the boss, do it, take the risk. And then say no without burning bridges. Just practice, start saying no. Start saying no to little things. And if you do this daily and you develop these habits, you will be a highly successful, productive person. Thank you for joining us on the Albuquerque Business Podcast. And thanks to our sponsor, RigbyDigital.com. Make sure to subscribe and share. And go to ABQPodcast.com. Get show notes, resources, and links to everything we talked about today to help you navigate your journey as an entrepreneur and business owner.